We got a new car and we're starting a car channel and no, I'm not talking about the Durango. I'll show y'all that in a bit. Speaking about the Durango, um, why body kit wasn't installed. So y'all know the car's been, well, the car was up there for a little bit over 11 days. The car was just sitting up there. Uh, the shop ordered more pieces. The pieces didn't fit. It was just problem after problem. Uh, ended up just going to pick up the car. And now about to bring it to a shop in Houston for them to do the supercharger work as well as put on the wide body kit because this is, this process is taking way too long. But enough about that. Let me show you all the new cars we got. And I got to clear out the driveway because uh, we're driving the Durango. Um, well, Mike's following me out there because we got to leave the Durango out there. But yeah, man, life has been very hectic, man. Very, very hectic. Life of a YouTuber. So, of course, we have the 300. Um, the 300 is actually about to become a project car. Um, we're going to lower it, put some new wheels on it, change the front bumper. We're going to put a uh, spoiler on the back. Just different stuff, and we're doing an engine swap on it. So, right now, it's a regular V6, but we're about to turn it into a supercharged V8, but not anything anybody's done before that I know of. And this is the new car. So Mike randomly ran, and I mean randomly, went online and saw this RSX Type S, I believe. Um, and he bought it. He was like, hey, let's go ahead and get this. I think it'll be a cool project car. Um, don't have to do much to it cosmetically, but we could do some engine work to it. And I, I personally think it's a really cool car. It looks cool. Um, got to show you all the inside, but great looking car, man. This car is really awesome. And then last but not least, we have the Durango. So yeah, I got the Durango. There's all the wide body kits right here. All the pieces for the wide body kit. Got to put in here. But yeah, we're dropping this bad boy off today. For very first project car, SRT Durango, making it faster than a Hellcat, making it faster than a track hawk. That's the goal turning the fast uv into something cool i have to move these cars get them out of the way and um i'm not touching the stick i'm not i'm not touching this this hose manual but i'm gonna get 300 out of the way i'm waiting for mike to move this and yeah we're out of here all right so while we wait for mike i'm gonna go put the pieces of the wild body kit in the truck mm -hmm. Now all we're waiting on is Mike to come and I'm gonna have him move the strat. That's what I'm gonna call it because the strat man purple. I'm gonna have him move it and then I'm gonna pull the Durango out. And then we're heading to Houston and we gotta say bye bye to the Durango for a entire month. Vlog, you guys might not have seen Michael's truck in a minute, but God, that's what it's like to drive a Ford F-250. Yeah, that, he, re, he changed the bumper, the light, the grill, front bumper, rear bumper, and headlight. And then, of course, Michael's in his dad attire. Because as Michael gets older, he loses a sense of dressing. He don't, he no longer knows how to dress. He All right, let's like a father now. Out. Yeah, let's stall it. Here you go. Let's stall this motherfucker out, baby. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, so. RSX Type X gonna be michael's baby he says it's for us i'm not touching this thing why are you not touching let's see if we roll backwards nope nope we ain't going nowhere fuck go ahead and put that joint in reverse mike I'm nervous you gotta move that thigh man i need to all right i got you i got you i need to <laughs> stop hitting me there you go <laughs> i'm nervous the emergency break it's off Damn, don't fly. Don't send us into the stratosphere. See, this is the hard part. This is the hard part. Because I have to, you know how you back out, you gotta go slow? Yeah. I don't, you gotta learn that. Because, you know what I'm saying? Well, I want to turn your wheel. Oh, wait a minute. We're coming off a slant. Please don't hit that man car. That's why I said you should go the other way. Okay. Okay. You feel me? You feel me? You okay. Okay. We okay. This is this the easier part. All right. 
It's about staying on the clutch a little bit. Okay. Hold on now. Hold okay. on, now we jiggled a little. Okay, Mike, okay. Okay, that boy did it one try. But yeah, let me show you how the inside of this joint, cause it's, it, hey, dude, the previous owner did a great job. Purple inside, grape everything. Um, it's, it's, it's a beautiful car. Beautiful car. And then right there, I don't know if you can see it, it says El Pura Uva, which is the pure grape. So this is Michael's grape mobile. And Michael is gonna uh, twin turbo it, right? Twin turbo, yeah, he twin turbo it. But yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, love this thing, love this thing, man. Let's get out of here. Let's head to Houston. See y'all at night and day performance where we drop off the Durango. First, I gotta hit the bank, then night and day. Peace out. What's going on, What's going on boss? Watch your hands, my hands nah, wet, man. My, my hands good, wet, brother. Man. You good, you good, you good. All that, all that, all that. How you doing, man? What's going on? This, this is Michael, 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 Matt. Man, you look bigger than you do on the <laughs> 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 You too, boy. You look bigger than that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> by, by seven foot tall. Nah, nah, nah. No, nah, 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 you're not seven foot tall? Nah, yeah, man. This is going to be your project, baby. Our project. Yeah. I thought it was going to be our project. Well, you know what? I like that. I like that better. I like that better. This is our project. Yeah. Would you like to hear a loud car? Yeah. Would you like to hear a loud car? I'll show, uh -oh. show you a loud uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. One, one oh, of the race cars is running. Oh, God. This is, this is. One of the race cars is running. One of them is tore apart right now. You involved us. Okay. So we're going to involve you. Okay. So after this little race that you do in Atlanta, got a surprise. I'm down with whatever. I'm bringing something too. <laughs> okay. We're going to see if those guys are really fast. Okay, man. Let's do we're it. We're bringing our race car. Wait. The, 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 the. Oh, God. We're bringing the red. Oh, God. Should I hook up the nitrous? No. No? Nothing's going to be that fast. You sure? I know. Nothing out there is going to be that fast. <laughs> I mean, the fastest thing is an M4 that just got a body kit on it. Did you say an M4 is fast? A comparable to the current 392. Not your everyday Cadillac? Mm. Okay, at all. Is that not your everyday Cadillac? I mean, I mean if, if every day is a racetrack. I mean, we are at Houston. Uh, yeah. Every day is a racetrack. Yeah. 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 Long tube headers. BTR, comp, uh, BTR cams. So stage four. That was stage three. Yeah, I, I'm already having fun just I'm looking at this. I'm to bring underwear. I got three. <laughs> okay. I knew because, I knew. Uh, the owner of the red eye, yeah, we shouldn't tell that, you know, he might or might not have had to change his underwear after his first ride in his car. <laughs> See, I'm mistaken. The information got mistaken. He came to us. He said, hey, I had a Hellcat, 707 horsepower. Yeah. I got a red eye, 797. I want a thousand horsepower. I said, okay. He's thinking that's 300 more. I didn't compute 300 more to the motor. I gave him 1,000 to the tire. Well, 1,100, it's 1068. So it makes almost 1,400 horsepower to the motor. So he yeah. made a bottle rocket on wheels. It took him three months before he would drive the car. Pause, pause, let's, let's back up, this two, Four by four sentences, right? We bring in the Durango to XXX, right? Eventually. Eventually. Where are those X's going? 
to the motor or to the wheel? Because that. Oh, okay. Wheels. Okay. So your first stage that you're going to get right now. Okay. The TRX, which is the one you brought up initially, makes yeah. what? 707? 707. Yeah. To the wheel, I think. 707 no, to the No, not to, to the, the motor. motor. Oh, my God. Oh, you're, you're going to make that to the wheel. And you're going to make that to all of the wheels. Uh -oh. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Now, I mean, if you want, we'll do what we do to the red eye. What? Every time that car starts, he knows it. Send him a text message. Hell, hell yeah. We'll put the locks on the steering wheel where you have to enter the PIN number in order to unlock the brakes. Put a kill switch so the ignition will be off. We'll put a manual kill switch so the fuel pumps will be off. Also, I have a hell of a weak app if you can put that on above the 392. I want niggas terrified. I don't want them to know what's going on. Or we can just get one custom made that has like your face just ah. <laughs> that be crazy. That is crazy. Like the like hell catcher. Ah. Be your face. <laughs> hey, Loki. Hey. Hey, he makes badges. Hey. And look, he has a custom badge on the top. Well, let's see. Loki. He makes he makes badges. Loki. Yeah, like see, look, it, it's running. We can put you running on the side of the rail. <laughs> hey. Hey, that'd be hilarious. Hey, he running. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. You know the rap I want. You don't even have to have rap it. You can do whatever you want. Freestyle it. As long as it looks good. You can wrap the whole thing. You put some cool rims on it. And then I think with the wrap, it'll look better with the wide body. Like, we're actually wrapping the wide body. So, yeah. Do you think? Yeah. They yeah. just they just shit it on your whole starlight. Yeah, they that bro, they talked about my starlight. <laughs> they talked about me like a dog. They talked about your what? Starlight. That ain't starlight. It's Look like somebody was in prison and went ahead and just tried to do something real quick and make some money. You see? You see? That's crazy. So we're going next door to check out the machine shop. He said cans and headers first. So, AD, what he? This is kind of like our, our, I could say the dirty room, really, yeah. you could say, you know, but everything's kind of dirty when you're in a machine shop. Yeah. This come in where we come in and actually surface the cylinder heads to get the mirror finish deck. So, Everything seals up real good. Okay. Then we kind of have our manual machines and welding because we have to do a lot of repairs at times, yeah. you know, like people blow stuff up. Yeah. This is kind of, this table here is kind of where the beginning happens, yeah. right? We take a lot of cylinder heads that come and start off really itty bitty, which I, I can go grab one in a second. Let me grab one and I'll set it over here real quick. So this one I kind of cheated on. I actually, <laughs> I actually put in a program to another cylinder that we already kind of had. Yeah but it basically gets me a baseline. And then what we do is just come in with these big grinders with the burrs here yeah. and hog, hog on it, right? So you can see like this head starts off teeny tiny, yeah, right? Which then kind of creates almost kind of artistic a little bit, yeah. you know, where you could come in and just put whatever my little heart desires in it. <laughs> how big I want it, how small I want it, you know, the size and the shape, everything I can kind of manipulate, how big a valve I want in it everything right yeah. this is one of our new cylinder heads that we haven't quite produced yet but it's it's coming up right yeah. all done it by hand all figured it off yeah. drawn it put it in put it in the computer written the tool pad for it then we put it in the five axis machine okay. so with the durango how how does that work so no so with his we're gonna do the cleanup process on him so he's gonna do the full disassembly does the springs and checks the valves yeah um if they need to be surfaced, a lot of the Hemi heads do, he'll do the surfacing that he was talking about over okay. there. That's crazy. So, to like digitize the cylinder heads. Are you using CAD? So we use Mastercam. Okay, cool. So we use Mastercam and basically we use a Verisurf to copy it. But basically we come in here with our platinum ferro arm. Yeah. Right, and basically think of it like a big copy machine. Like a 3D scanner. It basically like a 3D scanner, yeah. but it uses a probe instead of a laser yeah right mm -hmm. so and it does uh it bases it off a of surface right it bases it off a of surface so basically once i've come in here and created this yeah right i come in here and it what it does is it makes a a mesh cloud yeah here um and once i basically create that then i turn it into a surface so now i basically have 
a machinable surface. Yeah. Right. So now I can come in there. And you can right, even adjust the mesh. I can adjust the oh, mesh. Cool. I can come in here. I can slice it all up and pull it into another program yeah. and redraw it. Yeah. I can kind of manipulate it. So that's where we come in here and actually copy it. And then we go go from there to actually put a tool pass on it gotcha. and then load it in the machine and actually so cut it. something similar to this with, um, it was CAD. Uh, they would port over, they would port over, over scans to CAD mm -hmm. and then take it to like ZBrush and something like that and just draw out something like, I didn't even know what was going on, but I literally, this is cool. All right, so the car is dropped off. We just made it back to town. I'm about to go upstairs and take a nap because I'm tired. And then we're hitting the gym tonight. The long part of the day is over. And I think Mike is about to attempt moving the purple grape. How y'all doing? It live here. You got the purple seat. I keep forgetting it's got a back seat. I ain't gonna lie to you. We in here cuz this might be a fail, but hey, it is what it is. I noticed that said cup. So I did that. That's cup. Oh, that's not. Oh, they don't got roaches or nothing. Oh, that's nice. How you doing there, buddy? I'm, I'm squeezing it. You squeezing it? Yeah. There we go. All right, we got to hit reverse first. This is the hardest part of this right here, all right? All right. <sighs> oh, a little grind. I'll be in reverse. Nope. Nope. There we go. Got to push down a little harder on the clutch. Boy, it was grinding the hell out of the train. Grinding the hell out that mother. Nobody on this side. It's like a finesse thing. You got to fucking. You got to finesse it real good. Practice makes perfect, folks. Practice makes perfect. I like it though. I like it though. It don't look too bad. It too bad. I never buy something I don't know how to drive. That's just me personally. Can't even see you it. did buy something you don't know how to drive. What? This right here. Cap. 